heard a lot about Ukraine over the weekend. What are you going to be telling President Putin when you speak to him? Well, what I will say to, to the President Putin, is, as I've said before, is that I think we really all need to step back from the brink. And, and I think uh, Russia needs to step back from the brink. I think that an invasion of Ukraine and in, any incursion uh, into Ukraine beyond the territory that uh, Russia has already taken in, in 2014 would be an absolute disaster for the world, but above all, it would be a disaster for Russia. As you know, the UK uh, believes, supports the territorial sovereignty and integrity of Ukraine. Uh, we've been there since 2014, uh, training uh, Ukrainian troops under Operation Orbital, about 21,000 we've trained. We give uh, lethal but d defensive uh, weaponry to, to Ukraine. But what I know is that the Ukrainians will fight. If you go to Ukraine, you talk to Ukrainians, uh, I'm afraid any Russian uh, incursion, any further Russian invasion will be bitterly and, and bloodily resisted. You confirmed over the weekend that you would go ahead with the national insurance rise. That's going to be another squeeze on people's pockets and what's bound to be a really difficult year. What are you looking at to mitigate some of the cost of living pressures people are going to face? We all understand the, the pressures that uh, the cost of living crunch is, is putting on, uh, on people. And it's being driven, as you know, Nick, by the inflation that you're seeing around the world, particularly in energy costs. And so uh, we're going to be bringing forward, I know the Chancellor is looking at a package of things to abate uh, energy costs. Uh, but that's on top of all we're doing to try to support people through uh, this, this post-COVID recovery phase. What we're really seeing is the stresses and strains of the global economy fueling inflation in the post-COVID recovery phase. So we're, we're lifting the living wage uh, by an, another £1,000 for families on the, li on the living wage, uh, cutting, effectively cutting the, the taxes on uh, universal credit, so people on uh, low incomes on universal credit also get uh, an uplift in their, uh, in their income. But also supporting families uh, with a, a, a £12 billion package overall uh, to, to help people with the cost of living crunch. But you'll be hearing more from the Chancellor in due course. The best way to help people with the cost of living is to have high wage, high skill jobs. And at the risk of repeating my earlier point, uh, that's one of the benefits that we're seeing from, uh, from Brexit. As a result of the, of the speed of the vaccine rollout uh, and the speed of the booster rollout, which was at least partly assisted by Brexit, uh, we now have about the most open economy and society in Europe. We have unemployment, uh, youth unemployment certainly at record lows, uh, unemployment now nearing record lows, uh, more people in work than there were before the pandemic uh, began. That's a, a great thing. We need to keep boosting that, keep going with a, a, a high wage, high skill, jobs led recovery. I know you need to get away, but just very quickly, your Brexit Freedom Bill doesn't seem to have many specifics in it. It gives you the ability to do things, but it's not telling us what you actually want to scrap from EU law. Do you have any, anything in particular in mind? Nick, look, look, at, what, look at what we've already done. Uh, we, uh, free ports we're doing around the, the UK, uh, 60 free trade deals, uh, cutting VAT on on sanitary products, changing our whole approach to, uh, to, to our, our agricultural system, changing the way we support farmers, uh, taking back control of our waters, taking back control of our, of our borders, taking back control of our money, £350 million a, a week, as I seem to recall uh, it said, uh, accurately, by the way, uh, and, uh, and much, much more. Now, there are things that we can do differently, and uh, we think in a way that will encourage uh, business to, to invest even more. So what we're doing is we're, we're changing the system whereby under the retained EU law principle, uh, all the EU acquis, as it's called, all the EU rules are kept on the UK statute book as it were frozen. We're changing that so that they can all be uh, amended, they can all be changed just like any other piece of, uh, of law. And what we'll do is in all the areas where the UK is, fan is, is strong, so cyber, artificial uh, intelligence, gene technology, uh, all, of, all, the, all the cutting edge technologies of the, of the future, uh, we are going to be making data, all, all that area. We're going to make sure that we do things uh, differently uh, and better where appropriate. We won't diverge for the sake of it, but we're going to make sure that this is the number one place to invest and do business because of the freedoms that we have.